Hi everybody, today we'll be teaching you uh, about how to use Google Photos. So who are we? Um, we're part of a youth organization called Teens Teach Technology and we're a group of high school students from all over the United States, but primarily based in Long Island, New York. And we aim to teach the older adult population the basics of technology, including social media, daily applications and entertainment. So today we will be learning how to use Google Photos. And today our presenters are, um, hi, my name is Lucy. I'm a senior from New Jersey. And one thing I like to do in my free time is embroider. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm a sophomore from New York and I like to bake in my free time. Great, so here's uh, our table of contents for what we'll be going over today. So first you'll learn how to sign in and connect to Google Photos using your Google account. Um, then you'll learn how to navigate through the Google Photos interface and um, how to use the different app tabs. And then you'll learn about the different photo features and including how to interact with photos. And finally, um, normally we would have a general Q&A session, but because this is pre-recorded, um, feel free to email us your questions later. So what is Google Photos? Google Photos is a photo sharing and storage service, um, which allows you to access, edit, and share photo and video media and create albums from your device's camera roll. So Google Photos also allows you to back up your photos, meaning that you can safely store up to 15 gigabytes of your photos to your Google account and access them even if you switch devices or delete them off your current device. And this service will automatically sync. So first, um, to download Google Photos on your phone, um, what you wanna do on your iPhone is first locate the app store on your device and then open it. And then next you're going to click on the magnifying glass icon and then type in um, Google Photos into the search bar. Uh, sorry, that's a typo on the slide. Um, and then you're going to click on the get icon next to the app and then type in um, your Apple ID and password if prompted um, and it'll start downloading onto your device. So the first thing we're gonna learn is signing in. After you've downloaded the app, locate its icon on your home screen and click on it to open it. If you don't have a Google account linked on your device, your screen will look like this. Click the sign in button to continue. Otherwise, Google will automatically connect the app to your account. To select another account or sign into your account, click the drop down arrow right here. If you have multiple other accounts, click on the one that you want to use to select it. Otherwise, to add another account, click the button that says add another account. Then input your email and click next. On the next page, input your password and click next. Once you logged into your account, you will have the option to back up your photos. If you are on your phone, you may want to stay in the app for a faster backup. You can either store the photos in original or high quality format and click confirm when done to begin syncing your photos. If you have any questions about what we learned so far, which is how to sign in, feel free to email us. Now we'll be learning about how to navigate the interface. So first we'll talk about the photos tab. Um, so this tab basically allows you to view your camera roll um, within the Google Photos app. So what you wanna do is click on the photos tab at the bottom left um, hand corner of your screen. And then your photos on your camera roll will be displayed from the most recent to oldest date as shown um, by the, uh, the today banner, which means that all the photos you're seeing were taken um, today. And so you can scroll through all of your photos by either swiping up and down or dragging the um, slider icon you see on the top right. And then next is the search tab. So you can access the search tab and, um, by clicking on the middle icon at the bottom of your screen. And so um, this tab will allow you to search for specific photos and other files that are saved to Google Photos. Um, so here you can see on the screen, um, Google Photos can sort your photos based on like different people and different um, things which have been identified in the photos. And then by clicking on the search bar at the top of the screen, 
Um, you can input different dates, locations, um, a specific album that your photo is in, or any objects and items that are matched with the uh, input or the photo, and that will be displayed on your screen once you search it. So you can also scroll down to see different um, categories of photos and videos. Um, and as you can see on the right, there are categories like screenshots, selfies, videos, um, 360 photos and videos, photo scan, and motion photos. And then next is the library tab. So this tab will allow you to view your albums, the print store, and more. And you can access this by clicking on the um, library tab at the bottom um, right hand of your screen. So first, the print store at the top of your screen allows you to purchase physical photo books and various prints from your um, photos. And then the um, archive section allows you to view and interact with photos that you have um, archived. And then the utility section allows you to create animations, collages, and movies by combining different photos and videos in your library. Um, and the trash section allows you to view recently deleted photos and either um, delete them permanently or restore them so they show, um, they show again. And then at the bottom is a list of the albums that you've created. So um, if you have any questions so far, you can feel free to email us. Um, our email will be displayed at the end of the presentation. So next we'll talk about um, the photo features in Google Photos. Editing photos. So first click on the photo that you wish to edit. Then to start editing, click this little icon from the second to the right to the left, sorry, and click this button to add filters and click here to choose a filter and scroll right to see more filters. You could click here to adjust the light and the color of the photo. So slide left to decrease light or, and color or slide right to increase light or color. With this icon at the bottom right, you can crop photos by moving the white dots in the four corners of the photo as you like. This icon allows you to rotate the photo by 90 degrees just by pressing it. Manually uploading a photo from camera roll to Google Photos. So the first step is to locate the add option on the top right of the screen. Then click on it and press upload and the upload button looks like this. The second step is to press camera roll and click on the photo you would like to upload, then press done to upload. Sharing photos. Click here to open up options for sharing. It is the icon on the most bottom left of your screen. If you have contacts on Google, they will show up and you can share to their Google account or you can press this button that says share to, to share via other apps like iMessage, email apps, et cetera. Favoriting or deleting photos. So you can click the trash bin on the bottom right of your screen to delete a photo or video. Now you can find all the photos or videos you have deleted by going to the library tab and clicking on trash. To permanently delete the photo or video, you must also delete it from there. On the top of your screen, click the star button to favorite a photo. Now you can find all the photos or videos you have favorited by going to the library tab and clicking on favorites. So next to select multiple photos, um, what you wanna do is press and hold on a photo to open up the multi-select screen. And then you can click on any other photos that you would like to also share by tapping on them. So you can tell which photos have been selected because the ones that have will have a, like a blue check mark at the um, top left hand of each photo. And then you can use the different icons at the top to either share the photos, um, add them to any album, delete them, or buy a physical copy of them um, using the print store. And so next to create a photo album, um, which is in the library tab, um, at the bottom of your screen, there should be um, an icon that says new album. Um, we can click there to create a new album and then um, a new screen will pop up. So you can um, add a title or name for your album. 
And then you can select photos to add different photos that you want into the album. So by clicking the three dots and then selecting um, edit album, you can also add a different location to your album and also change um, what the pictures are sorted by. So to share the album that you've just created, um, you can click on the album and then select the share button. And sharing this will allow you to um, share it with different people in your contacts, or you can share it through a different app by clicking on the share to button at the bottom of your screen. So to share, uh, yeah, so there are two options. You can share the album with someone in your contacts by clicking on one of the circular icons, um, or you can um, share to and send it uh, to someone else through a different app. So to like and comment on other people's shared posts, um, first you can access the share photo um, and you should be able to do this through your email. And once you do that, you can click on the photo and um, once it opens up in your app, you can tap the heart icon to like the picture. And you can also tap the speech bubble icon to leave a comment on the picture. And so if you want to make any kind of animation, collage, or movie um, with a bunch of your photos or videos, um, you can do this through the Utilities tab. So after you click on um, the Library button, you can click on the Utilities folder. And then it, you'll, it'll bring you um, several options to either make it an animation, um, a collage, or a movie. And you can click on which one you want. If you have any questions about learning about interacting with photos, feel free to email us. So this is where we would have our general Q&A session. So today we learned all about Google Photos. If you have any questions about what we covered today or any general questions about technology, feel free to email us and our email will be displayed on the next slide. Thank you so much for attending our lesson. We really hope that you love the lesson as much as we enjoy teaching you. If you have any further questions, please contact us at our email, which is technology.by.teens at gmail.com. And here are Instagram, Twitter, and website handles. And this is a recording of this lesson, which your, library which your librarian has sent you. And this will be really helpful if you were confused and want to go back and reread the info. Thank you.